Good morning friends this is your own Dr DV Swain the motivational speaker Today I have a very interesting motivational story for you once upon a time in a kingdom there was a king he was a brilliant king very strong passionate king who is always thinking about his uh, citizens but at the passing of time he was getting old and one day he was not feeling very well so the doctor came and uh, did the inspection and find out the king is not going to live for many years so the doctor gave an advice that for the time being i'm doing the treatment but you are not here for a longer time might be for one year so you can choose your next king and go for banaprastha or go for uh, sanyash to the jungle after listening this the king was uh, feeling uh, very sad but simultaneously he has to find out a king so he made his uh, eldest son as the next king of the kingdom after doing that uh, he was thinking uh, to go for sanyas into the jungle for the last phase of life so that he will get moksha in life the king was having four queens so he was thinking you know i was always in the crowd so going to the jungle staying alone might not be a great option so in the process he was thinking to approach his queens he uh, has gone to the fourth queen and said o oh, queen let's go to the jungle because i don't have much life left only one year so i want to go to the jungle for sanyas and doing meditation so i need your company would you like to go with me for sure i am not going with you to the jungle i'll be going to stay here and enjoy my life the king was feeling very bad but anyway he thought why not to try with the third queen he has gone to the third queen and ask o oh, queen Would you like to accompany me in my sanyas to the jungle for meditation? Because you know, one year life is left. She was furious after listening this. She said, "Jungle? No way! The moment you will die, the next day I will get married to another person." So after listening this, the king was really annoyed, very very sad. But anyway, he was thinking to try his luck uh, with the second queen. The second queen was very close to the king because. she was always there with the king to take political decisions she was always helping the king she was always a pillar of support so the king was very optimistic and in the optimism he asked the queen o oh queen would you like to accompany me to the jungle for sanyas the queen said i will not be able to join you for the sanyas but what i can do is that i can assure you after you die i will fulfill all the rituals as per the royal protocol but i cannot go with you so the king was very disturbed sad dissatisfied dejected and he was moving in his uh, mahal suddenly he heard a very very timid voice from the back o oh, rajan i'll be going to join you o oh, king i'll be going to join you in your sanyas and suddenly he turned around and started seeing who is that person who is ready to go with me for the sanyas to the jungle and he has seen it was the first queen now ladies and gentlemen this story is mine yours and everybody metaphorically i have presented four queens the fourth queen the youngest one is our body the moment you will die your body will leave you isn't it the body will never go with you the third queen who was very furious and said the moment you will die okay the next day i will get married these are all materialistic acquisitions your watch your spec your shoe your car your house uh, everything will stay back and it will belong to somebody else once you will die second queen was very close to king is your friends relative brother sister father mother and everybody else they will go till the crematorium and they will perform the rituals but they will not accompany you for eternity the first queen is your inner soul the gifts you have got from god the uh, belief system the passion the inner calling the inner voice which you have never utilized but rather you focus on the second queen third queen and fourth queen the second queen is your uh, relatives and friends the third queen is your materialistic acquisition and the fourth one the external beauty of your body which is important 
but too much of obsession with the external body is not great so ladies and gentlemen always focus on your inner voice in a calling in our engineering turn in words for that you need meditation whenever you are taking any decision in life always listen to your inner voice because that's your own but in actual sense we all focus on rest three and forget the fourth one the inner voice and inner calling so ladies and gentlemen i hope this small motivational story will remind you always whenever in your life you are at a crossroad you will listen to your inner voice so ladies and gentlemen this is your own dr dv swine the motivational speaker saying focus on yourself listen to your inner voice and always take decisions based on your inner voice thank you